Hey guys, welcome back to another Coding Flamingo video. So in this video, it's not so much about how to code it, but it's something that as a developer, you don't really know until you go work for a big organization, but it's something that a lot of people in marketing and everything use to really understand and UX developers use to really understand their code and their users. And this is tools such as Microsoft Clarity or Hotjar. A lot of them are honestly free, uh, mostly because Microsoft and all of them use your data to know how long people stay in your site and everything. But basically what you do is you add a little bit of code at the top. And what it gives you is gives you kind of like these heat maps of seeing where people click and everything. So all of a sudden you can see like if people are clicking in the wrong place. Uh, for example, I'm just going to go to uh, the site of Kitos where I work. And one of the things we realized is like our contact form here is right here. And the contact us button here was sending you to this form. And we had people that would just click it and it would just crawl a little bit up or their browser would be big enough that like, it's just like this and they would click it and they would get, get confused that it goes to the same form and they would kind of like leave the site. So in here we changed the one in the main site to send you an email. And if we go to another site, sorry, another page in the site, it sends you to here. So this, those are little things that you don't get. It's videos. And here I'm just grabbing one of like someone from the company. And all this is as uh, Clarity says, is GDPR compliant as long as you put the, do you accept the cookies? Because it's all based in cookies. It's not like you're recording their screen or anything. It's just cookies that say like, they clicked here, they click that. And they're able to kind of like recreate, for example, a video of where they went what they did and where they clicked. And for example, here they open in a different tab and, and so on. So to do it is very simple. Let's say we're, we're using Microsoft Clarity and you're gonna go to your projects and then here you just create a new project and you enter the name of like whatever code and then you click add project. And there's multiple ways to install it. If you're using kind of like Wix or something like that, there's like easy ways to kind of just install with one click. Uh, but if you wanna do it manually, you just copy this into your head. So like, let's say we're opening here our laser application and we just go to the client to the index and we put it here at the, at the bottom of the head and now it'll automatically start sending everything to Clarity. So as I said, really simple. It's more about like knowing the concept that actually implementing it because it's just a copy paste that you could have Googled. But I honestly didn't know this until I got into my career and then I was like, wow, like, Company uses App Insights. It's another one I'm gonna link the video down below to kind of like see exceptions and everything. And then this one to really understand your user experience and improve it. And I thought I would share it with you guys. And I also wanna open it down below in the comments for you to kind of like comment on other stuff that you use that like my many other developers might not know about. Uh, let me know down below and thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.